All right, so what's up? Quad Squad back at it with another one. 3D printing related. Yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to install a 3D printed cable chain onto your, your Bamboo Lab P1P. Um, it was a pain in the butt for me. Huge pain in the butt. Learning experience. So I wanted to walk you guys through it. And, you know, I always film it all. And if it's valuable content, you know, I put it together in a video. But it's taking me a long time because this one's a lot of bits together. Because some of the stuff, it took hours of my time. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Yo, and go check out my, my quad, quad Squad website. I'm selling a bunch of 3D things. And if you want to hit up my merch or whatever, support the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Anyways, let's hop right into it. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. <sighs> yes, like that. So you put the cord to it and you connect it to the black plastic piece. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Cool. So now. You screw that piece back on. <laughs> so line it up into there. Wait, line it up in here? Yeah. Like, would it go this way? Yeah, whatever way it goes in straight, yeah. So possibly yeah, up over that way. <laughs> There's, it's thinner at the top, like, see there's a little cutout right there? Right here? You just gotta put it right there. You see? Okay, there you go. Alright, so now, straighten it out here. Yep, let's screw this back in. Obviously, I'm gonna have to do like the music in the background. Huh? What do you say? No, I'm obviously gonna have to do music in the background. Why? You should be playing it all the time. Oh, you're still fucking recording. Yeah, the whole thing is meant to go on YouTube. Ah! People, how the fuck you do it? to make sure that it goes in with the bump facing out just so you guys know because we just did it the other way yeah all right so i just want to take a minute right here to basically say don't listen to what he is saying right now um i was incorrect it took it took me learning it to figure out that i was incorrect um you actually want that bump facing in like the part in between the two screw holes that Anyways, um, so the main thing is that you want the part of the holes, like the screw holes, outwards is the part that has the little divot, so that the screw ends up going in that divot and it's flush, instead of, if you do it the other way, you're just doing it to a flat surface and then the, bit, the screws don't go all the way in. Uh, so it's incorrect, do it the way with the bump inwards, and make it so that there's the two inlets for the screws to go in or else it doesn't reach. I spent probably an hour trying to figure out how to put this back in. And anyways, this is how you do it. And if you're wondering why I have glasses on my head without lenses in it, it controls my computer. Alright, let's hop back into it. All right, so we're going to figure out how to put on this little tube thing 
that holds the tube for the whole cable chain thingy. And I was really confused and I couldn't figure it out for a while. And I figured out you gotta remove this with the like Allen keys and then you pop it over that tube seal. So that's what we're gonna do. Putting a magnet on your Allen key works wonders with not losing screws. I figured that out and came up with that on my own. <laughs> Definitely uh, does wonders, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Take that off. So this is out. Yeah. Okay. Now, this little piece. All right, so I'm gonna quick cut to the chase real quick. I tried to put it on without the bracket. As you're seeing that she's trying to do, just put it on the tube push down thing. Uh, but you do need that bracket that we just took off. All right, let's hop back into it. All right, so um, actually, it goes on to that thing. Um, I was trying to put it on when it was on the machine, and it was a pain in the ass, and it just seemed like it was never gonna go on. So I took it off to see if it went on this rubber seal, but it doesn't go on the rubber seal. It does go on this bracket, but I would suggest taking it off of your machine and popping it on, on a table, because it takes quite a lot of force to get it in. Um, but now it's in. And now we gotta get the tube in. So, yeah. So it has to bend, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. That's how she's done. Now back it up. Or I guess. Put this yeah. in, so I'm going to press then, this down. Yeah, and then push it down. Right? Yep. Push down. Okay. Yep. It's secure. Yep. And now. I'm just gonna screw in a little bit yep. so that it's in. Yep, and then line up the other one. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty secure. And so you know what? That makes it a bit easier. So when you wanna remove the tube, all you really gotta do is press this down, this whole component, and then pull it. I can. There you go. Alright. Right. So now this wire clearly runs along yeah. the inside of this chain. Yeah. And this clear tube right. gets inserted yeah. into these. And then into this hole here. Yeah. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna put this through. No whole lot because the chain then connects to the bracket behind the tube. 
Okay. Something needs to click on here, right? It clicks on oh, here. Yeah. So it's really cool. uh, like this. Yeah. Can I click it or not yet? Uh, Ta-da! Do you want me to? So move the so do two here and then two there, um, or just do one and one. Maybe if you can fit two along the whole length, yeah. So two and two. Yeah. Talk to me, you want me to start over here? Yeah, I might want to start over there and then do the other just kind of once we get to that side. Okay. Right? So basically guys, what you want to do is make sure you route the cable from where, from the head of the printer along the cable chain so that you have any slack at the end of the back of the printer. The first time I didn't do that and now I had to reopen it and redo it. Uh, alongside I put too many cable links. So yeah. Okay, this one's gonna be, I think, a little bit tight. Let's see. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I hope I made a little bit of a difference to try to make it so that you don't get so frustrated when repairing your 3D printer or upgrading your 3D printer. I went through a lot of frustration with this one and I hope it made a difference in lack of frustration with you. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you want to subscribe. 95% of my viewers are not subscribed. So yo, just hit the subscribe button. You know you're going to benefit from my videos. Anyways, thanks for coming. Uh, maybe go check out my website. Uh, and give me some input on it. Leave some comments down in the description. I always love hearing from you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you some discounts down there. If you want to buy something from my website. Thanks for coming. Hit you on the next one.